Now, something that I've always been been trying to work out how to do, and I'm excited that I've actually been able to make it work in a relatively simple way, and that is that I love interactive content and being able to put interactive content into learning materials for students. And being able to put that into Moodle has always been an absolute pain in the butt, really annoying. So what I've worked out is, and this is using Adobe Animate and being able to put uh, an interactive and as when I say interactive, it has buttons on it that does things and it's animated and all that. Be able to put that inside a Moodle page in the context of what's going on inside the page as well. A bit like if you're embedding H5P or something like that. So step by step, let me show you first of all in Adobe Animate, which is really cool. Now I've got this animation and I'll give you a quick look at it. It's just an engine that spins around. And if I go and give you a demo of the interactive part of that, it's fairly simple and straightforward. This is what it looks like inside a web page, and you can start, stop, you can slow it down, you can go normal speed, and you can go fast speed as well. Okay, so that's the animation, but what we can do is we can export that, and I'll go through that, and then we'll load it into Moodle, and it all actually works, and it's really cool. And I did this as a teacher, so something to be aware of when you're in Moodle is that, uh, and I'm in Moodle 4.0 here, is that there may be a case where you don't have access to be able to do this, so you may need to get special permission to do it. But either way, it does work. Let me show you. So we go into Adobe Animate. And from Adobe Animate, I'm just going to go down to Publish Settings. And in the Publish Settings, it's on JavaScript HTML, which is good. Uh, I've got the Four Stroke Engine version 2 here. I've left everything else ticked except for including images because this is completely a vector creation anyway. There's no actual graphics inside it. Uh, we go to HTML and I'll just show you here. I've selected stop including JavaScript in HTML. Um, for some reason, changing that means that it spits out one file with everything inside the one file, which is exactly what I want. So I just go publish and off it goes and creates that. Now, if I jump into that file, which is in a folder, let me grab that folder. Here we go. Here's the folder. It's the full stroke engine version 2 HTML. It's one file that it created from that. And that was from Adobe Animate. If I right click and open with, and I'm just going to open with Sublime, you can see here this is all the code that makes up that whole interactive object. Now, what I can do is I can go to this part that says write your code here, grab everything after that and all the way down to nearly at the bottom to where it says write your code here. So grab that part first. Now jump into Moodle. In Moodle, I'm just in a course in a page. It's just a HTML page. If I go into the code here, and I, I can put some content in before and after if you like as well. So we can go content here, um, more content. So you can see that it sits in line and I just put it three X's in there. Go into the code and where the X's are, I'm just going to replace those with all of that code that I just grabbed. We still need to get more code there, so just jump back. Jump back to where we were and I need to grab this part here. So this is the uh, onload. I'll just move it up a bit so I'll see if you see. Uh, this is the div ID down to div. Don't worry about this other little bit here. We're going to fix that up in just a moment. So we grab that bit of code, jump back to Moodle, and paste that in a page. Nearly there. One more thing we need, and that is to go and grab the JavaScript onload function, which is just here, which is the window.onload equals function. We're just going to grab that one bit of code, jump back here, and scroll back just a little bit to where it says function in it, and paste that into there window.onload equals function and that's it let's go save and display cross our fingers look at that so we've got content here we've got more content down the bottom and then we've got our animation appearing inside the page which we can stop start fast normal slow all of that now if you're interested in uh, one, how I more detail about how I did that, but also in how I created that using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Animate. Got a whole course on it, let me know, and I can put a link there for you to show you how to do that. And it also shows you this process of how to embed uh, the interaction or this interactive content in Moodle into a couple other platforms as well. 
because it's uh, lots of cool stuff in there. But um, that's how you do it. Really clever. Absolutely love it. I'm Chris Richter. I'll talk to you again in the next video.